वेलकम बैक माई नेम इज सत्यजीत साहू एंड वी आर इन मॉनसून सीरीज ओके सो इन मॉनसून सीरीज वी आर स्टडिंग हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग एंड इन हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग वी आर स्टडिंग वॉट फ्लोटिंग कार मैथड वी आर स्टडिंग फ्लोटिंग कार मैथड सो फ्लोटिंग कार मैथड बिलोंग्स टू वॉट इट बिलोंग्स टू द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रैफिक इंजीनियर से सब टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग ओके सो लेट अस फर्स्ट वेलकम द फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम जूही वेलकम कार्तिके ओके अगेन देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई थिंक इट इज द वीडियो इज नॉट प्लेइंग वंस जस्ट चेक आई विल जस्ट टेल अ टेक्निकल टीम टू चेक इट विल स्टार्ट सून We'll just see the com for the comment section once. Refresh the page. Okay, now I think it is correct. But if the screen is disturbed, okay, okay, okay. So we are ready. Let us start the class. Okay. So. Floating car method. In floating car method, we are going to study on the topic traffic engineering. Now, this floating car method is also known as moving car method. It is also known as what? It is also known as moving car method. Okay, and we also call it as what? Moving observer method. Moving observer method. Now, lately, Gate has been asking lot of question. from this particular method and students don't get good content in this particular topic therefore i am choosing to select this topic and complete it today so let us welcome all the students welcome rasmita welcome mukul vijit survi akanksh diya ranjan akshay jayesh and vipul okay so warm welcome to all the participants so we are middle of this monsoon series as i told before and we are studying highway engineering on monday and tuesday we have completed two topics that is what traffic delay model and vehicle damage factor okay and today we are seeing what floating car method floating car method okay now yesterday i gave homework also many students did the homework very correctly yes and i have decided that in every youtube session i'll give some homework numericals right homework numericals and the detailed solution of the numerical i will paste in the comment section later okay i'll paste in the comment section later okay so all the students are requested to attend the session very attentively okay and then you will be giving i will be giving practice questions for you at the end of the session and those questions you have to solve and you can post the answer in the comment section yes also you will get the detailed solution in the comment section after two days okay so for today's class whatever question we are solving whatever questions we are solving i expect that you solve those nicely and also solve the homework questions so let us start the session without any further delay so for yesterday the top comment i selected was of suranjit okay so suranjit sah okay so he has nicely you know described all the important points that is about the vehicle damage factor the basic definition then ealf okay and all about the standard excel loads okay so everything he has covered very nicely so i will uh, congratulate uh, suranjit for writing such a beautiful comment that means he has understood the topic very nicely from the lecture and there were also other beautiful comments by other students okay so all of them are wonderful but i selected one okay so congrats to all the people and especially suranjit let us start today's class without any further delay let us start today's class okay so first i will introduce three topics that is traffic flow density and stream velocity three things i will introduce okay what is traffic flow then what is traffic density and what is stream velocity okay let us understand these three terms okay now suppose we have a road 
we have a road okay and at a particular section suppose you are counting the number of vehicles crossing this section per hour that will be known as the traffic flow that is known as what traffic flow so traffic flow okay traffic flow is what your q it is termed as what q and what is traffic flow i can say number of vehicles number of vehicles number of vehicles crossing a section crossing a section per hour okay per hour or it can be per minute but mostly we choose what per hour so what will be the unit of traffic flow can anybody write okay welcome chanap chanappa can anybody write the unit of traffic flow please write in the comment section what will be the unit of traffic flow what will be the unit of traffic flow it will be vehicle per hour very good it will be vehicle per hour now this is the traffic flow we have something known as traffic density what is traffic density suppose we have a road and we are seeing 1 km of the road we are seeing what we are seeing 1 km section of the road in that 1 km if you are able to count the number of vehicles if you are able to count the number of vehicles that will be known as what the traffic density so i can say that the traffic density i can say that the traffic density k is equal to what it is what it is the number of vehicles in a stretch of 1 km so what will be the unit of traffic density can anybody say what is the traf unit of traffic density please mention in the comment section as you did for the traffic flow please write down the unit for traffic density yes it will be vehicle per kilometer it will be vehicle per kilometer as simple as that okay now you have something known as the stream velocity something known as the stream velocity this stream velocity i'll give the name vs i'll give the name what vs what is this stream velocity you see all these vehicles if you see these vehicles these vehicles will have different speeds right have different speeds now all of them are moving so i can consider them as what a flow right i can consider them as what a flow uh, pardon i will just drink some water because i have little cold <laughs> so i am getting the coughing sensation okay sorry okay now all these vehicles can be can be considered as what all these vehicles can be considered as a flow like a flow of water there is flow of vehicles right and if we take the average velocity of these all vehicles i'll call that as what the stream velocity i'll call that as what stream velocity so i can say that we have three terms now k q and v s k q and v s right and there will be a relationship between them and what is the relationship the relationship is q is equal to k into v s okay q is equal to k into v s now what is the unit of k it was i can say it was vehicle per kilometer what was the unit of vs it was kilometer per hour so if you cancel this kilometer kilometer will get what vehicle per hour which is the unit of what flow so we got a very important relationship what is that relationship that q is equal to k into vs q is equal to q into q is equal to k into vs understood everyone understood so is there an any doubt in this particular slide is there 
any doubt in this particular slide? <coughs> you can write in the comment section. No. Okay, so there is no doubt in this particular slide. Okay, very good. So this is what? This is your traffic flow, traffic density and stream velocity. Now how to determine this? There has to be some method, right? There has to be some method. And that method is moving car method, also known as what? Floating car method or moving observer method, everything. Now what we do in this, what we do in this, we have an observer. We have an observer. Now the observer will be inside a vehicle, right? The observer will be inside a vehicle. And that vehicle will be known as what? Test vehicle. That vehicle will be known as what? Test vehicle. Okay. Now what we will do? You can see the picture. Okay. So we have a divider here. Right. And I can say that. Okay. That we have vehicles moving. Okay. Vehicles moving in both directions. Right. What we will do? We will select a particular stretch of the road. Okay. We will select a particular stretch of the road. Then what we will do? So vehicles are moving. Yes, vehicles are moving. Now what will be the average velocity I told of all the vehicles? What will be the average velocity of all the vehicles I told? Tell me. What I told about the average velocity of all the vehicles? Please tell. Average velocity of all the vehicles. Average velocity of all the vehicles, Vs. I told that when I write Vs, it is the average velocity of all the vehicles. Therefore known as what? Therefore known as what? Stream velocity. Therefore known as what? Stream velocity. So, I will have an observer inside the test vehicle. Suppose this is your test vehicle, okay? This is your test vehicle. Okay, this is your test vehicle. Now, this test vehicle will move with the velocity of V0. It will move with the velocity of V0. First, it will move with the traffic. You see now, this Vs and V0 are in the same direction, right? So, I'll call that as what? Moving with the traffic. Then it will move against the traffic. Yes? The test vehicle will move against the traffic with the speed of V0. Okay, V0. So, I have till now studied that we have a test vehicle which is a moving observer and that moving observer first will travel along the traffic then against the traffic. So, now everybody is able to relate with the term what? Observer or I am calling that as what? The test vehicle. I'll call that as test vehicle. Why? Because the observer is inside the test vehicle, right? And then I can also call that as what? A moving car. It's a moving car. Yes. Or I can also call that as what? A floating car. A floating car, right? It is what? Actually, we are imagining it as a car which is floating in this flow of different vehicles, right? moving with the flow or stream of different vehicles. Understood? Now first we will analyze what? First we will analyze this moving with the traffic. Moving with the traffic. So you can see moving with the traffic or I can say along the traffic. It is same now. Moving with the traffic, along the traffic, moving in direction of traffic. Yes? moving in direction of traffic now suppose if i say that in this particular diagram if i am saying that this is your i am saying that this is your vs which belongs to all the vehicles 
Now tell me, suppose this is my test vehicle. Now suppose I am selecting two test vehicles. One test vehicle this and one suppose test vehicle this. Tell me, I will erase this. Tell me which one is moving with the traffic or along the traffic. The red one or the yellow one. Which is moving along the traffic and which is moving against the traffic. So first tell me which is moving with the traffic, the red one or the yellow one? Which is moving with the traffic? Please mention in the comment section. Yes, the red is moving with the traffic. Yes, yes. If I have selected this direction as VS, yes, this direction as VS, then we can say that this is the vehicle moving along the traffic or with the traffic or in the direction of traffic. Understood? Now, I'll analyze this with a diagram. So suppose I'm seeing the top view. I'm seeing the top view. Okay. Here I saw the real diagram. Okay. Suppose I'm seeing the top view. In the top view, suppose, these are all the vehicles. All the vehicles are moving. Okay, and suppose their average velocity is Vs, the stream velocity, the stream velocity. And suppose this is our test vehicle, this is our test vehicle, and it is moving with the velocity P0. Now, from the observer point of view, from the observer point of view, the observer is sitting inside the test vehicle, right? The observer is sitting inside the test vehicle. Observer. Observer is sitting inside the test vehicle. So for the observer, can you tell what will be the stream velocity? For the observer, can you tell for the observer, for the observer, what will be the stream velocity? For the observer in test vehicle, for the observer in test vehicle, what will be the stream velocity? Here you have to introduce the concept of relative velocity. Here you have to introduce the concept of relative velocity. Please tell for the observer in test vehicle, what is the stream velocity? Kartika is writing Vs minus V0. Saurabhsi also, Samridhi also. Yes. It will be Vs minus V0 because you can see that test vehicle is moving with the stream flow. So I can say what? If I'm introducing the concept of relative velocity, what I will do? I have to subtract it. I have to subtract it. Very good. Understood? So now for observer, for observer, okay, for observer, can I say the flow will be equal to the density. Density won't change because density is the number of vehicles which is there in one kilometer. That will not change. Because the observer is moving now, the flow will appear differently. Yes. And this will be equal to what? Vs minus V0. And this will be what? This will be the flow which the observer is seeing when it is traveling with the traffic. So this is the flow when the observer, observer moving with the traffic. See, when the observer was stationary, when it was stationary, then just Q was what? K into Vs. Or I can say V0 was 0. So this I can say is what? This is for a observer in rest, right? This is for a observer in rest. 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 Yes. And I can say Q is the stream flow. But when the observer is moving, then what happens? Then the flow will appear different. And when it is moving with the traffic, I can say it is K into Vs minus V0. Understood this concept or not? Everybody understood this concept or not? Everybody understood? No doubts in this concept? 
has anyone any doubt in this concept i don't think there is any doubt in this concept right so this is one way of finding the flow with the traffic this is one way of finding the flow with the traffic okay next and we saw that this qw is equal to simply k which doesn't change vs the stream velocity minus the speed of the observer very easy now there is another way to find it there is another way to find it okay what is that way that way is you are the test vehicle you are the test vehicle okay you are the test vehicle or not you are the test vehicle you are you are inside the test vehicle okay you are the moving observer you calculate or count the number of vehicles which overtook the test vehicle during the test yes so you are inside it suppose you are inside it so you first see that how many vehicles overtook you overtaking test vehicle means what overtaking you because you are or you the observer is inside the test vehicle so number of vehicles which overtook the test vehicle minus what number of vehicles overtaken by test vehicle what is the meaning of these two terms many students get confused in this so i'll just explain okay suppose you are in the test vehicle okay you are in test vehicle you will overtake some vehicles some vehicles will overtake you right so this is what this is the number of vehicles which overtake you right and this is the number of vehicles which you overtook understood agar hum hindi mein bolenge to kya bolenge ki kitne gaadiyan the how many vehicles or kitne gaadiyan aapko overtake kiye this is the first term this first term is what kitne gaadiyan aapko overtake karke aage nikal gayi yes and second term is what the second term is kitni gaadiyon ko aapne overtake kiya kitne gaadiyon ko aapne overtake kiya or i can say the vehicles which overtook you they are in front of you na and i can say the vehicles which you overtook they are behind you right i can say like that right so this is the difference divided by what divided by the time of observation okay divided by the time of observation means what that means what that you are conducting this test right you are conducting this test okay so you are the test vehicle here okay so you will move from this place to this place so it take some time right will take some time suppose that time is tw the time is what tw that will be what the time of observation that will be what the time of observation see if the time of observation is given well and good if the time of observation is not given but you know this length l you know this length l and the observer is moving at v not then this time will be how much length by v not na i can find the time tw why w because we are moving with the traffic so i can find out right that for how much time this experiment was conducted when i am moving from i can say from this point to this point easy 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 very good so this is the formula for finding what qw so we have two formulas for finding qw okay first formula was what density density into bs minus v not okay and then nw by tw yes means what when you are moving with the traffic okay when you are moving with the traffic nw by tw tw was the time of observation when you are moving with the traffic and that was how much the length for which the observation was done divided by what the velocity of the observer and this was what this was what number of vehicles which overtook test vehicle right which overtook test vehicle and then minus what minus what number of vehicles number of vehicles 
ओवरटेकन ओवरटेकन बाय टेस्ट व्हीकल सो इफ यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज इन दिस सब्ट्रैक्शन just remember that you are the test vehicle suppose you are inside test vehicle so how many vehicles overtook you minus what how many vehicles you overtook understood difference or can say kitne gaadiyon ko aap overtake karke aage nikal gaye that is what the second term right yes and the first term is what the first term is kitni gaadiyan aapko overtake kar li yes yes very good so now you see If you are the stationary observer, just tell me one thing. If you are a stationary observer, which term will be zero? First term or second term? If you are a stationary observer, you are not a moving observer. Then which term will be zero? The first term or second term? Which one will be zero? If you are a moving observer, if you are a moving observer, then which term is zero? The second term will be zero, na? Yes, because you are not a moving, a stationary observer. If you are stationary, ho, you are stationary. If you are stationary, then how you can overtake anyone? <laughs> yes, if you are stationary, then how you can overtake anyone? That is not possible, right? That is not possible. In that case, the second term will be zero. Now, everybody understood this confusion. Now, any confusion between these two terms? Number of vehicles which overtook test vehicle or you? Minus the number of vehicles overtaken by test vehicle, and remember that if you are stationary, second term is zero. If you are stationary, second term is zero automatically. Why? Because how can you overtake anyone if you are stationary, right? Yes. So this was moving with the traffic. So we saw two formulas. Okay, is moving along the traffic. Next we will see moving against the traffic. So if this is the traffic V S, yes V S. so i can say that these vehicles are moving what against the traffic right these vehicles are moving what against the traffic or the second diagram also if i say that this is what the vs which you intend to find out then these vehicles are what moving against the traffic moving against the traffic as i told that in this moving car experiment or floating car experiment what we do first what we do first we are first moving with the traffic right this was vs right this was vs first we'll move with the traffic and find out qw then we will take the test vehicle in the opposite direction and then we'll do what against the traffic against the traffic now when we are moving against the traffic suppose this is the diagram this is the diagram so these are the vehicles they are the vehicles okay and these vehicles have a stream velocity of what these vehicles have a stream velocity of vs right and we have this test vehicle which is moving against the traffic now now tell me what will be the stream velocity for observer tell me what will be the stream velocity for observer what will be the stream velocity for observer please tell me what will be the stream velocity for observer please tell me what will be the stream velocity for observer yes it will be vs plus v not okay relative velocity when they are moving opposite it will be added or i can say it is vs minus of minus v not right i can say like this this is the concept of relative velocity right concept of relative velocity So in this case, if I am finding Q A, A means what? Against. This will be K into V S plus V naught. V S plus V naught. Easy, very easy. Density won't change. Okay, density won't change. Now, there's another formula for finding what? When the observer is moving against the traffic, the flow. That means what? The Q A. that is simply suppose your test vehicle here suppose you are the test vehicle here now you are moving against the traffic flow right because i have selected this as the vs right so you are moving against now so what you will do for a particular length you will see the number of vehicles crossing you from the opposite direction means what all these vehicles you will start counting right these vehicles are what for the test vehicles 
crossing in the opposite direction, right? Yes. So this will be equal to number of vehicles crossing the test vehicle in opposite direction divided by what? Divided by the time of observation. This will I'll call as TA and this I will call as NA. Okay. Suppose I'm telling that Yes. Now the test vehicle is here, right? Against the flow. Against the flow. So the test vehicle, this is Vs. The test vehicle will count. Or in test vehicle will not count. You inside the test vehicle will count. It will count the number of vehicles crossing in the opposite direction. Okay. Divide by the time of observation. Right. If you don't have time of observation from here to here, what you can do? You can take this length, divide by V0. This will also give me the time of observation. So now I can say that, first of all, stationary observer, this will be the stream flow. Stationary observer, stream flow, that will be equal to K into just Vs, stream velocity, right? This is for a stationary observer. This is for a stationary observer, right? Now for a moving observer, when it is traveling with the traffic, then I can say it will be QW, that will be K into what? Vs minus V0. And when you are traveling against, against, then I will call this as QA and this will be K into Vs plus V0. Yes. So now you see these two equations. If you know QW, you know QA, suppose you know this V0, okay, can you find out K and Vs? Yes. If you know QW, you know QA, you know V0, you can find out what? From this data, you can find out what? Your K and Vs. And once you find out K and Vs, you can find out what? The original stream flow also, right? The original stream flow, which is there for a stationary observer. Yes. And if you don't know QA, you can find out what? NA by TA. Yes. Number of vehicles crossing in the opposite direction by time of observation. Or this is what? NW by TW. NW was what? The difference what? Number of vehicles overtaking the test vehicle minus number of vehicles overtaken by the test vehicle. Divided by the time of observation. And if you don't know time of observation, you can find out what? Length by velocity. This much is required to solve all the questions from your floating car method. Let us solve the question in 15 minutes. I'll solve four questions and then two homework. Let us start. So first homework for you is, you please summarize this, whatever we have studied here with the equations in the comment section. Okay, I will be happy. Okay, uh, you can take this as a Guru Dakshina. <laughs> If somebody wants to make me happy, they can write in the comment section, I will be happy. I know that many students are attending the lecture. Okay, they are not commenting in the comment section. I am not happy with them. Okay, so please comment in the comment section. It will take hardly 10 minutes of your very precious time. Okay, I assume that your time is very precious. But still, I will recommend that you comment. That will help you only. First thing, your things will get revised. Second, you will guess my blessings. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now this we saw with and against. Okay, so now let us solve some questions. You see, in a floating car experiment, the questions will be easier. In a floating car experiment, while traveling along the stream, okay, while traveling along the stream, now solving this question, what you do? You draw a diagram, okay? You draw a diagram so that you don't get confused, okay? You don't get confused, okay? And this is your Vs, the stream velocity Vs. So first what? First moving along the stream, test vehicle. First moving along the stream at how much? 40 kilometer per hour. 40 kilometer per hour. What is written? 50 vehicles overtook test vehicle and 10 vehicles were overtaken by test vehicle. So what is NW? 50 vehicles overtook test vehicle and 10 vehicles were overtaken by test vehicle. What is NW? 40. 
50 vehicles overtook the test vehicle and the test vehicle overtook 10 vehicles or I can say 10 vehicles were overtaken by the test vehicle. Understood? Or again I say this NW is nothing but NW is nothing but net vehicles which overtook the test vehicle, right? Yeah. Pachas Gardia ne test vehicle ko overtake kiya. Or test vehicle ne 10 gardiyon ko overtake kiya. To total kitni gardiyon ne net test vehicle ko overtake kiya. Fhi test vehicle ke aage chale gai. 50 minus 10 na. Yes. Yes, I can tell like that, right? So 50 overtook the test vehicles and 10 vehicles test vehicle overtook. That means net is 40 net is 40. Now here TW is given, you see, it happened in 10 minutes. The time of observation was 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Very good. Then what happened? While traveling against the stream, okay, it is traveling against the stream at 20 kilometer per hour. Yes. So here what happened? The test vehicle crossed 160 vehicles in 10 minutes, right? When it is traveling, the traffic, sorry, pardon, and it's traveling, traveling against the traffic. I told to count the vehicles crossing in the opposite direction. And that is given how much? 160. So I can say this is what? Your NA 160. And this also happened in 10 minutes. So TA is also 10 minutes. What is asked? It is asked to find out. Uh, good evening, Hyder from Hyderabad. So it is told how much? I also stayed in Hyderabad. I like Hyderabad a lot. <laughs> uh, find the stream flow. Stream flow means what? Stream flow means your Vs. We have to find out Vs. Now, first from the given data, can you give me, can you give me QW and QS, Q, QW and QA in vehicle per hour give me. In vehicle per hour. QW and QA in vehicle per hour. In vehicle per hour, can you give me? Very good, Suranjit. See, NW is 40 and TW is 10 minutes. I can convert unit to hour 10 by 60, right? 10 minutes is what? 10 by 60 hour. So this is how much? I can say 240 vehicle per hour. Simply see, 40 by 10 by 60. Converting into vehicle per hour. Then QA. QA is what? 160 by 10. This is in vehicle per minute. Per hour will be multiplying by 60. I am getting how much? 960. As I told, that this data will be given of the floating car method. Okay, Begum Pet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have used to visit Begum Pet a lot. <laughs> okay, so 240 and 960. Okay, 240 and 960. Everybody understood how we are calculating QW and QA from this floating car experiment? Yes, everybody understood. Now, once we get this QW and QA, now we will do some fast calculation. Yes, so QW is equal to what? K into Vs minus V0, right? And QA is equal to K into Vs plus V0. Now, you see, this observer velocity can be different while you are traveling with or against. Yeah, as you can see that here, this is the V0 when we are traveling with and this is the V0 when we are traveling against. It might be different. Okay. So from here, 240 is equal to, I can say, K into Vs minus your 40, right? Yes, because when we are traveling with, it is 40. And then 960 is equal to K into Vs minus, Vs minus, not minus, plus 20, yes. Everyone understood? Very nice. Now you can find out both K and Vs, right? Now you can easily find out K and Vs, the traffic density and the stream velocity. So this is the aim of what? The floating car method or moving observer method, which we studied so nicely, right? So you can solve this, you can do what thing, what you can do? Actually, you can take this as 240 is equal to KVS minus 40K. And from here, I can say 960 is equal to KVS plus 20K. 
then you can subtract this from this. If you subtract, you will get how much? 960 minus 240 is 720. KBS, KBS will get cancelled. I will get how much? 60K. So from here, K is 12, right? I am getting K is 12 vehicle per kilometer. If K is 12 vehicle per kilometer, I can find out Vs. How much Vs you are getting? You can use any equation. How much Vs you are getting? We will be getting 60, right? 60, right? Yes. We are getting 60 kilometer per hour. And somebody asked us, what is the actual, this was stream velocity, right? This was stream velocity or stream speed or whatever you can call it, stream velocity. If they ask you the stream flow, the actual stream flow, you will say how much? It is simply K into Vs giving me how much? 720 vehicle per hour. So this is one of the best questions you can get for your floating car experiment. If you have solved this question, then you can solve many questions. You can solve many questions. Now you solve this question yourself. Okay. Now this question is homework. So I gave you homework only. It's a very straightforward question. Okay. It is homework question number three. Okay. One and two are coming later. So directly I'll go to homework question number three. So it's a previous question of gate you can easily solve now. Okay, you can easily solve now. Okay, you see along means what? Along means width. So when they are moving with and against the traffic for the moving observer, they are measured as what? 50 and 200 means this is what? This is your QW and this is your QA. Then they have given the observer velocity while traveling along means what? With and against. They are asking you the traffic density. So this is your homework question. Please solve, okay? Homework question number three. One and two are following. Don't worry. One and two are there, okay? So now I can say that here, ladies and gentlemen, okay, that in the previous question, this QW and QA were not given, right? In the previous question, QW and QA are not given, right? You had to use this data from the floating car experiment to find them out, to find them out, okay? But here it is directly given. So I can say I have solved a question which was tougher than gate, right? Yes. I can say we have solved a question which is tougher than gate. <laughs> yes. One step ahead of gate. Okay. Yes. Now let us see another question. Okay. Okay. So this is your question, homework question number four. <laughs> I give a lot of homework. So homework question number four. So homework question number three, homework question number four. Okay, and the solution you will get where? Where you will get the solution? Detailed solution, homework question number 3 and 4. You will get the detailed solution. Where you will get detailed solution? Where you will get the detailed solution? I don't know Telugu, I know English. Sorry. In the comment section, okay, in the comment section, you have to search after two days. I'll give the detailed solutions link. Okay, don't worry. But first you have to try yourself. First you have to try yourself. All these questions are originally framed by me. Okay, this question originally framed by me. So I'll get a fresh practice. Okay. Now, the last question for the day which I will solve. Okay, a previous question update. And then two more homeworks. Okay, <laughs> so many homeworks. A student riding a bicycle on a 5 meter one way street take 40 minutes to reach home. Okay. The student stopped for 15 minutes during this ride. Okay. 60 vehicles overtook the student during the ride and 45 while students stopped. Okay. Find the speed of the stream means what? Vs. This is a very interesting question asked in the gate and they are asking a lot of questions related to this. Here we will use the concept which was used in the floating car method. It is not exactly the floating car method but I will use the concept. What is this? Let us see. It is written that we have a 5 kilometer stretch. Okay, 5 kilometer stretch is there. Okay. And a student is traveling on this stretch of road 5 kilometers okay and he takes how much 40 minutes he 
he stopped for 15 minutes. If he stops for 15 minutes, what is the actual time of travel? So what is the time of travel? Tell me. What is the time of travel? Yes, the time of travel will be 25 minutes, right? Because total was 40 minutes, but he stopped for 15 minutes. He stopped for 15 minutes, right? So that means what? 25 minutes he traveled. And then I can say, stopped for 15 minutes. So when he's traveling, when he is traveling or she is traveling, he's a moving observer, right? He's a moving observer, right? He's a moving observer. Moving observer. Yes? And when it is stopped, it's a stationary observer. Stationary observer, right? Stationary observer. Right? Now it is written one-way street. So that means what? It is traveling along the, along the, you can say with the traffic. The cycle, the bicycle person or student with the bicycle is traveling with the traffic or the with the flow. So I can say this is what? Moving observer with traffic. With traffic. So can I say the equation will be what? The equation will be QW is equal to K into Vs minus V0. Na? The equation will be this, right? For that 25 minutes, for that 25 minutes, this will be the equation, right? Because it is the moving observer with traffic. Right? Yes. Then we have the stationary observer. For the stationary observer, the equation will be what? Simply Q is equal to K into Vs. K into Vs. Yes? Yes. Now, what is written? It is written during the ride, 60 vehicles overtook the student. Okay? 60 vehicles overtook the student. So can I say NW is 60? Yes. Can I say NW is 60? It is traveling along the speed, along the traffic or with the traffic and 60 vehicles overtook the student. It is NW. Why we are not subtracting anything? Because data is not given that how many vehicles the student overtook. And anyhow, the student is traveling where? It is traveling in the bicycle, not where, with the bicycle. There is very less chance that he will be able to overtake anyone, right? So I can say here directly, NW is 60 and this is the time of observation, 25 minutes. Because 25 minutes he traveled, rest time he was stationary. So can I find out QW? Yes, the QW will be 60 by 25, it's 25 minutes, so I'll divide by 60 to get what? Vehicle per hour, yes? Now, for the stop time, stop time 45 overtook the student. Stop time 45 overtook the student. And that happened in how much time? That happened in how much time? In 15 minutes. So this is the flow, right? Everybody understood how I calculated the flow or not? Why? How I calculated the flow, everybody understood or not? How I calculated the flow, everybody understood or not? Again, I will repeat. I will say that first, first, when I am seeing the traveling time, 25 minutes, that is the period of observation, right? In that 60 vehicles overtook the bicycle. So 60 divided by the time. 60 divided by time. Time means 25 minutes, 25 by 60 hour. And when stationary, then 45 overtook. So 45 divided by time, 15. In hour, it is 15 by 60. So this is coming how much? I can say this is 3600 divided by 25. And this is simply how much? This is simply 180. Yes. Can you find out the Vs now? Yes. Just divide this equation number 1 and equation number 2. Divide this equation number 1, equation number 2. What you will get? Vs minus V0 by your Vs will be equal to 3600 divided by 25 into 180. I'll get 20 by 25 is what? Point eight. Now, how to calculate the speed of the observer? That is also easy. You see, the bicycle traveled 5 km in how much time? 25 minutes because 15 minutes he was stationary. 
सो आई कैन से द स्पीड विल बी फाइव किलोमीटर डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स और ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई सिक्सटी हाउ मच आर गेटिंग दिस यू आर गेटिंग ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर पर आवर सो दिस इज वी एस माइनस ट्वेल्व बाई वी एस इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट और आई कैन से योर पॉइंट टू वी एस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व और आई कैन से वी एस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच गेटिंग सिक्सटी राइट गेटिंग हाउ मच सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आवर so see this question was easy this question was easy but they applied the concept of what moving car or floating car method so in the gate examination they will use the concept of floating car method to solve such questions and you cannot remember only the formula right you have to understand the concept right you have to understand the concept therefore the application of floating car method formulas to such type of questions i have given two homework already this is your homework number 3 i can say homework number 3 and 4 are there so homework number 1 this question also i framed this question also framed using the same concepts but the question will be different okay so you have to apply your brain okay and then this is your homework number 2 okay so we have four homeworks okay so we have four homeworks okay so four homeworks are there all the four homeworks you have to solve and mention your answer in the comment section and also mention what you understood from this floating car method in details thank you very much okay so tomorrow at 5 pm we'll be discussing vertical curves thank you very much bye bye please solve the homework